In modern warfare, the first rule is simple. See without being seen. Stealth is the ultimate advantage. A weapon that cannot be detected cannot be countered. The sea swallows light and sound, making it the perfect hiding place for those who master its secrets. Stealth lets a nation project power without revealing its hand. A visible force is vulnerable. But a submarine? It's a ghost, mobile, invisible, unpredictable. Submarines carry the element of surprise, the most decisive factor in any engagement. The goal, become just another whisper in the deep. When achieved, the submarine becomes the ultimate weapon, an unseen hand, ready to strike from the abyss. This is the power the US Navy has mastered. To control the sea you must first disappear within it, that is the art the US Submarine Force has perfected. The US Submarine Force began with the USS Holland SS-1, a simple, almost primitive machine. Acquired in 1900 it was small, cramped and powered by gasoline on the surface and batteries underwater. World War I proved the value of submarines as German U-boats devastated Allied shipping. Submarines evolved from coastal defenders to true predators, growing larger and faster. Torpedoes improved, and sonar, seeing with sound, emerged. The true leap forward came with the USS Nautilus, SSN 571, launched in 1954. The world's first nuclear-powered submarine, Nautilus, changed everything. Submarines became true denizens of the deep, no longer tied to the surface. From humble beginnings, a new era of warfare was born. The Cold War forged the modern U.S. submarine force. Beneath the waves a secret war raged between the U.S. and the Soviet Union. Nuclear power gave submarines unlimited range and endurance but silence became the next frontier. A noisy submarine is a dead submarine. The Soviets built a massive fleet, the U.S. raced for acoustic superiority, U.S. attack submarines, hunter killers, tracked Soviet ballistic missile subs, the boomers carrying city-destroying nukes. Finding and shadowing them required skill, patience and cutting-edge technology. American submariners mastered the acoustic environment, identifying Soviet subs by their unique sound signatures. The Navy invested in quieting technology machinery on insulated rafts, anechoic hull tiles and classified propeller designs. The goal, a submarine so quiet it was acoustically invisible. Each new class was quieter than the last, the Los Angeles class set a new standard. By the 1980s, U.S. submarines could operate undetected in Soviet waters, trailing enemy boomers and gathering vital intelligence. This silent capability was a cornerstone of U.S. deterrence. Even if the Soviets struck first, their own subs would be vulnerable. The silent service provided an invisible shield, helping keep the Cold War cold. The undersea cat-and-mouse game shaped global strategy for decades. In the deep, silence was survival and supremacy. The Cold War's legacy, a relentless pursuit of stealth that still defines the U.S. submarine force. Today's U.S. Navy submarine force is built on three specialized classes. Each is designed for a unique mission but all share stealth, endurance, and lethality. First, the fast attack submarines SSNs, are the hunters of the deep. They seek and destroy enemy subs and ships, protect the fleet, gather intelligence and deploy special operations forces. The Los Angeles class, Virginia class and Elite Seawolf class make up this group. Next, the Ballistic Missile Submarines SSBNs, are the most survivable leg of the nuclear triad. Ohio class boomers carry up to 20 Trident II D-5 missiles, each with multiple nuclear warheads. Their mission strategic deterrence, patrolling in secrecy to guarantee a devastating response if the US is attacked. Finally, the Guided Missile Submarines SSGNs, are converted Ohio-class boats. They carry up to 154 Tomahawk cruise missiles and support special operations, projecting massive firepower from the sea. Together, these submarines form a versatile, formidable undersea fleet. They operate unseen, ready to respond to any threat, anywhere. Each class is an instrument of national power shaping the global balance. The silent service remains at the heart of American security. In the deep, these platforms are unmatched. The U.S. submarine force is the ultimate guardian beneath the waves. The Ohio-class ballistic missile submarine is the ultimate insurance policy. Its purpose, to never be used but to guarantee peace through the threat of overwhelming retaliation. Fourteen Ohio-class SSBNs patrol the oceans, each a submerged fortress armed with 20 Trident II D-5 missiles. A single boat carries more firepower than all armies in World War II. Crews operate in isolation, maintaining constant readiness. Two crews, gold and blue, rotate to maximize patrol time. 
This ensures a significant portion of America's nuclear arsenal is always at sea, survivable and ready. The Ohio-class boats are aging, soon to be replaced by the stealthier, more advanced Columbia-class. The new class will feature a life-of-the-ship reactor, reducing time in port and increasing patrols. This massive investment underscores the enduring importance of sea-based deterrence. For the foreseeable future, these silent sentinels will remain the bedrock of U.S. and global security. In the nuclear age, the ultimate weapon is the one that stays hidden. The guardians of the apocalypse keep the peace by never revealing themselves. The Virginia-class submarine is the workhorse of the U.S. attack fleet. It's a hunter, spy, and special operations platform in one, designed for both deep ocean and dangerous coastal waters. Its modular construction allows for easy upgrades like the Virginia payload module, which nearly triples its Tomahawk missile capacity. Stealth is paramount. The Virginia class is the quietest U.S. submarine ever built, with advanced sound dampening and a pump jet propulsor. Its hull is covered in anechoic coating making it exceptionally hard to detect. The sensor suite is cutting edge, featuring a photonic mast with high-definition cameras and electronic warfare gear. Signals are sent via fiber-optic cable to a flexible ergonomic control room. This digital-age warship dominates the information-rich environment of modern naval combat. The Virginia class can sneak up on adversaries, gather intelligence, and vanish without a trace. It's adaptable, lethal, and built for the future. As older subs retire, the Virginia class will form the backbone of the U.S. attack fleet. In the silent world below, it's the ultimate hunter-killer. The future of undersea warfare is already here and it's called Virginia. If Virginia class is the workhorse, Sea Wolf class is the apex predator. Designed during the Cold War to hunt the most advanced Soviet subs, Sea Wolf prioritized speed and silence above all. Only three were built due to cost, but their capabilities are legendary. Sea Wolf class subs are larger, faster and can dive deeper than Virginia class, and are even quieter. The USS Jimmy Carter, the third in the class, features a unique multi-mission platform for launching unmanned vehicles and supporting special operations. It's believed to conduct highly classified intelligence missions including undersea cable tapping. Today Seawolf class subs are elite assets deployed for the most demanding missions. Their unmatched speed and stealth make them ideal for tracking advanced adversary submarines. They are the Navy's silver bullet, rare but devastatingly effective. While Virginia class forms the fleet's backbone, Seawolf class represents the technological peak of Cold War design. These boats are a symbol of enduring American undersea dominance. In the deep, nothing hunts like a Seawolf. The apex predator still rules the silent world. Despite its dominance, the U.S. submarine force faces real challenges. The fleet is smaller than in decades past, with rising global demands and longer deployments straining crews and boats. Adversaries like China and Russia are building quieter, more capable submarines and advanced anti-submarine technologies. The undersea environment is no longer a guaranteed sanctuary. To maintain its edge, the U.S. must innovate, investing in new quieting tech, advanced sonar and undersea weapons. The Columbia class will replace aging Ohio-class boomers, ensuring sea-based deterrence for decades. The Navy is ramping up Virginia-class production and integrating new tech like the Virginia Payload Module. Unmanned underwater vehicles UUVs, are a major focus, extending reach and reducing risk. The future will see manned subs deploying swarms of autonomous UUVs, creating a resilient undersea network. Advances in AI and machine learning will be crucial for processing vast sensor data. The goal, a more persistent, capable and lethal undersea force. The race for undersea supremacy is ongoing. America's dominance depends on relentless innovation. Submarines are more than warships, they're the ultimate expression of national power and strategic foresight. For the U.S., the submarine force is the foundation of military strategy, providing unmatched stealth, endurance, and firepower. A single sub can hold entire fleets at risk, project power ashore, and guarantee national survival through deterrence. The mere possibility of a U.S. submarine lurking nearby shapes global security and deters aggression. The freedom of the seas and global commerce rests on U.S. undersea dominance. As technology evolves, the undersea domain grows more contested and vital. The nation that masters the deep will hold a decisive advantage in the 21st century. The U.S. Navy's investment in Columbia-class, Virginia-class and unmanned systems is a clear commitment to this future. From the primitive USS Holland to today's digital warships, the story is one of relentless innovation and courage. Submariners are the unseen guardians of American interests. 
As long as there are oceans, the submarine will remain the most vital piece on the global chessboard. The deep is the final frontier, and the US Navy is its master. In the silent world below, power belongs to those who cannot be found.